It's been almost four months since one party switch rocked North Carolina politics. And since becoming a Republican, Representative Trisha Cotham has changed her position on a few major stances. While she's shifted her stance, some of her previous donors have shifted their loyalty. Yeah, and this came to the forefront in a recent New York Times article analyzing Cotham's switch. Our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, took a closer look at the topic of donor refunds. Joining us live here in the studio to explain, Emma, the process and whether or not this has impacted Cotham's campaign funds. Well, we know at least one campaign donor has requested and received a refund from Representative Trisha Cotham after she switched parties. Now the question that remains is, will this continue to happen, and will it financially impact Cotham's campaign? According to a recent New York Times article written by Kate Kelly and David Perlmutt, a Democratic activist and long-term supporter of Representative Trisha Cotham requested a refund for her $250 campaign contribution. That activist is Ann Newman, and evidently she got her money back from Cotham. Kelly said it wasn't as much about the money for Newman as it was about the principle. It was a way for Ann Newman to express her frustration. One thing she told my colleague David, who talked to her, was that she had tried to get an explanation from Representative Cotham as to why she switched parties beyond what Representative Cotham said in her press conference and in a few brief statements um, and was unable to reach her. Beth Sibley, another previous Cotham donor, backs this up, knowing Newman and Cotham personally. Well, I mean, I understand why people are requesting their money back. People giving their money is their way of saying that they support somebody and you know, they want to be able to call that back and say, I no longer support you and I don't want to have any any part of anything that I did say that I support where you stand now. Sibley says although she won't be requesting a refund, she definitely won't be writing any more checks to Cotham's campaign. I don't care about the money. I care about her vote. And it, it, no, it doesn't matter to me. It matters to me that she's not voting the way that I want her to. According to the State Board of Elections Office, candidates or committees are not legally required to refund a contribution at the request of the contributor alone. If they do decide to provide a refund and it's over $50, they have to refund the amount by check or other verifiable form of payment and disclose the refund on the appropriate campaign finance report. So today I reached out to Cotham's campaign treasurer and asked if more donors have requested refunds. Haven't heard back quite yet, but we'll keep y'all updated on that one. Emma Withrow, Queen City News.